Okay, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, good day again everyone. Um, today, we will be discussing about theorem number 5 being um, the tangent to a circle, a tangent line to a circle is always perpendicular to the radius. Okay, so um, in this uh, theorem, what we want to prove here is that if you will have a radius, say we have this um, this segment like from A to B, okay, if we have this radius and we have this line L, okay, if they are all, if the line L is tangent to the circle, then by definition in our theorem, it's always perpendicular to the radius, okay? So, um, before we, we go into the proof of this one, let's, I will just um, discuss to you one specific rule or maybe uh, property, okay? One specific property in geometry that the shortest distance from one point to a specific line is through a perpendicular line. Okay, again, the shortest distance, meaning if this is 6, then any distance from this point to this specific line, may it be this uh, distance or this distance, it would be greater than 6. And it cannot be less than 6. So the shortest distance is through a perpendicular line. So to, um, for us to understand um, uh, this theorem, let's try to take in, say, um, any point within the, perp uh, within the tangent line. Say we have this um, point here and then we have this point here and what we are saying here is that um, we can prove uh, we can assume that the, the shortest distance from from point a to the tangent line is through this line say this is c and b so the shortest point would be this one a c so if you would notice that if the shortest point from uh, the shortest distance from this um point in the center and this tangent line here is through a c Let's just try to look at the given, okay? In AB, that would be your radius. So meaning, to get the measure of AC, then we would have to go to A up until the circumference of the circle being the radius. Radius plus some measurement X here. Some measurement X here. And if by, um, and if by inspection, obviously, this one is greater than the radius itself because you're adding a specific distance here. And if we would say, um, we will take, say, um, assume that the segment AD now, let me just undo a little bit, that the segment AD, AD here, this is the shortest distance, then um, you will notice immediately that to get the segment AD, then we will have to take the radius plus a variable Y. Say this is from this distance, yeah, this specific distance outside the circle, radius plus sum and then sum so we have radius plus y a variable a positive variable y it's always greater than the radius itself by inspection okay so then again that would give us an assumption that any given point aside from the point of that the point of tangency in the in the line in the circle would mean that you would be taking the radius let me zoom in a little bit you would be taking the radius and adding sum distance even if you would go closer and closer to your um circle or point of tangency you would always have this small line in between you will see i am drawing some small lines okay small lines in between okay then again um, we can assume that the shortest distance from the tangent line to the to the center of the circle is through the radius and by the property in mathematics or in geometry that we say that the shortest distance from one point to a specific line is through a perpendicular line. Then we can assume that this given um, segment AB to line L is perpendicular to our... Uh, is, they are perpendicular, okay? So that would be a slight proof whether um, on theorem 5, uh, say, say, saying that tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius. And what... What implications does this give to us? Okay, what implications does this give? Does this give to us? It's just very, uh, very basic. That if you would have a circle, let, wait, let me know. I am do that. If you would have a circle, say, and oh my God, I can create a circle. Let me. If you would create a circle and you will have a tangent line, automatically, automatically they would be perpendicular. Perpendicular. Yeah. Okay, perpendicular. Okay, so I think that would be it. There would be no measurements regarding this one. 
no measurements, just simply um, um, denotation that any given tangent line is perpendicular to the radius of a circle. So even if you would have, say, a tangent line here outside, yan, it's always perpendicular. Okay? So thank you everyone for listening. If you have any other questions, there are no measurements here. Okay? So just go back to our video and thank you for listening and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.